if we're gonna like present our story to the world, I'm hoping that it's done like in a very elegant and beautiful way. My only concern is that they're going to tell the story in a way that doesn't really reflect what actually happened. But you know, it's Hollywood. Things are, you know, exaggerated. This is great so far. We've got women's liberation. Ooh, I hear Obama speaking. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. Gate is good. That's cool. That's a very powerful intro. New York City. Looks good. Big budget. This is really cool. I like the fashion. I like the music so far. This cops looking scary. It's really graphic. <gasps> Oh my god. Unfortunately, I don't think it's far from the truth of what happened back then, though. It's hard not to watch a trailer like that and be somewhat moved, and also to be very affected by people shouting the F word and hitting people. I always get chills when I think about, like, what they had to go through, and, like, I don't even have the balls to, like, jaywalk, let alone throw a brick at somebody. Okay, okay, hold on. I gotta stop there. There's images of this main character, who, from what I know, is a fictional character, throwing, like, the first brick, and that's not true at all. Where is Sylvia Rivera? Where is Miss Major? Where is Marsha Johnson? Where are all the butch lesbians and the queens and the people of color? Oh, cool. A white guy. Blonde haired, square jawed, seemingly blue eyed hero. So sad to say, but I feel like more people are going to watch it because it's a white guy. This is decentering the people who were actually at the center of this very riot. In general, when we learn about our past, we learn it through a very like white, male, cis, uh, you know, perspective. The white man wasn't the hero of Stonewall. I'm sorry. They could have shown a lot more people of color and that, that would have made it more relatable for, um, for me personally. So I hope that that was just a glimmer of what, you know, is actually in the film. I'm excited to see it. I know a lot of people want to boycott it. A lot of people are really upset by it, but you can't really judge a book by its cover, right?